Okay, and we're here in two. Nine years this is done. Um, it's been out since... Wow, it's been out since last month. Uh, yeah, it's November 1st, so I think so. November. Thanksgiving. But, um... I'm not too sure if this will be much of a reaction, more of my thoughts on the video. Um, I have not seen the music video yet. I have, however, watched all of their stages, and I like the song, the song is very catchy. I like the melody, um, I will be doing an album review soon, um, I just got their album, so after, you know, going through it, and jotting some stuff down, I'll get to that, but, um, I was really excited for the comeback, um, I did a bunch of other, um, reactions to their other videos, especially that matchup, but, like I said, my laptop won't be on, so I have to get a check and do, um, uh, the file a second, and I don't want to redo it, and it's important. So without any further ado, one of my favorite girl groups, maybe even, like, I think they're my top girl groups, so here we go, my music. I love her voice. It's like so fresh. I'll explain that later. Probably going to make sense. I wish I was just told this happened. I don't think I'm not told. Oh, <laughs> don't touch my hole. I'll, I'll do it for you. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out which members were doing the silhouette dance. So, 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 nine muses, nine muses, nine, nine, <laughs> nine muses. Um, whew. 
I really do like this song. At first, I kind of didn't like it. Um, it took a while to grow onto me, but I realized, you know, the lyrics are extraordinary. Um, the MV is amazing, and then after watching countless, um, you know, stages that they performed at, you know, I began to like the song a lot more, and it's become one of those things where I listen to it daily. It's really fun. Um, hmm. One thing I did like about everything. What am I saying? I liked everything. The choreography is one thing I really like. Um, as you can see, I kind of was playing around. I really did like the choreography, and I liked how dynamic the performance was. Like, it was an actual performance. And each member, you know, they had their spotlight, even if it was for a few seconds. They had their spotlight, and like, in this MV, like, in the song in particular, rather, it's one of those songs you see how far Nine Muses has gotten with their, vo with their vocals. You know, they their range is a lot stronger, and each member you can pick out their voice, you know, instantaneously. Like I was saying with um, Suna's voice, um, all the girls' voices are very sweet and melodic, and you know, I, I don't know if you get what I'm saying, but they're very sweet and melodic, and then you hear Suna's voice. And it has this like huskiness and it just makes everything sound fresh, like it gives it that break from all that sweetness and adds that like tough, tough sweetness in there and yeah. Um, another thing I did like, like I was saying, the lyrics of the song are very, um, they're very empowering, well for girl power at least or whatever. Um, you know, it's about a man manning up basically. All that stuff, and that's basically kind of what I got through watching the MV. Um, all the, I believe they tried to make it seem like it was first person kind of view as the guys. The guy was trying to, you know, look at the girls and everything, and they're just kind of saying like, you know, be a man and all that stuff. And um, that's another thing I think was behind all their outfits. Like their outfits were very strong, and gave a sense of you know power. Likewise with the, um, the setting, like, I liked how the setting was, um, you know, in a desert, and it has this whole 60s, 50s vibe to it, and likewise with the lyrics and the setting, um, I know part of the lyrics say, you know, like, now's your chance, you know, like, ask me, you know, like, this is your only chance, and with that being said, the set is kind of like, you know, in the middle of nowhere instead of desert. I mean, it's not a gas station. You're obviously going to bound to stop. And who wouldn't want to stop at a gas station with nine uses there? I break my car. Stay there forever. Become friends. <laughs> but what I'm trying to say is, it's in the middle of a desert and the song, or part of the lyrics say, you know, um, now's your chance, you know, like, it's basically your only chance to get me. And the whole desert in the middle of nowhere, you know, once in a lifetime chance, you know, you see them there, you may never see them again. So, you know, like, now's your chance, do it now, be a man, you know, do this, do that. And, um, like I was saying, choreography, amazing, the song is amazing. Um, I did like how, um, <laughs> Star Empire's previously released, um, Zaya's Ghost of the Wind had, like, you know, an orchestra kind of thing. It was more, um, violin. It was more of the string stuff. I don't, I don't know what to call that. And then for this one, the Nine Muses, it was more of the brass section, which I really like. Um, it added to the overall feel of um, the song. And I was a bit surprised because, you know, Nine Muses is kind of they're kind of known for being like the sexy girls generation, um, excuse me for comparing, but they're one of the two groups that are constantly, you know, pitted against each other, mainly because they just have nine members. But, um, yeah, Nine Muses is kind of known as the mature, sexy girl generation, and this one was a little bit turned down. Um, I think it was very, it was more demure, it was very ladylike, and, which I liked about it. It was ladylike, but it was empowering. It was still sexy and it had a little cuteness in it. And it showed that, you know, these girls can carry a different tune to this, um, besides their previous records. You know, Wild was, um, 
why those didn't really, I don't think it showcased their vocal talents a lot better, but in prog progression-wise, from the first single No Playboy to where they are now, like, they need, um, they deserve some stuff. Which is why I'm hoping, I, I don't think the promotions are over yet, but I do hope that they um, win at least one music show, just one, just one. I've been loading my ass off everywhere. I'm hoping they win, because this is, the song is good. Um, I think it's a lot better than some of the comebacks that were out recently, so um, whatever. But the song is good. The album is really good. Um, I'm going to do a review on that later on. Album is good. Song is good. They all look good. And even on their um, stages, you know, their outfits were amazing. Um, Nine Muses is also one of those groups who, when they perform, their outfits are always, always, always on point. Like, there's not one person who looks out of place. Who looks, you know, off because maybe their outfit's just a little different. I mean, yeah, all their outfits are different, but something about it is right. Like everything is right. So, um, yeah. If you'd like my reaction to this video of my favorite girl group, Nine Muses, <laughs> please like and subscribe. Um, I will have more videos up soon. And um, if you have any videos that you'd like me to watch too, any at all, any K-pop videos or variety show videos, um, please comment them down below or tweet me on Twitter uh, at Matthew Everett. Um, I'll leave the link down below. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys all later. Bye.